Alright, so when did I first get in the cars? I was definitely in the cars as a kid. So, um, <clears throat> growing up, I played with toy keys, my Fisher Price toy keys. I always asked for people's keys as a kid. I'm like, oh my god, can I see your keys? You know? And, um, eventually I stopped focusing on the keys and started focusing on the cars and the quality of the cars. And when I was younger, I liked luxury cars. Like, you know, every kid liked the Lamborghini, every kid liked the Ferrari. Yeah, you know it, Jafar. Uh, every kid liked luxury cars as a kid. Oh yeah, Ferrari 458. <clears throat> but then you know, I started seeing people drive, and I'm like, wow, that's pretty interesting. Excuse me while I try to merge. Oh. Um, you know, it's always nice to see people drive because you see they practice a lot. They put a lot of their skill into it. They invest themselves into it. So, as a little kid, I was like, I was thinking to myself, what if I could drive like that? Seven years ago, I wouldn't be thinking to myself, you know, I don't think I could drive this kind of car. Like, it's too much work. It's too much hand-eye coordination, but like with anything, practice, you know, practice makes you good at it, so. So as a manual driver, I do get a lot more control over the car than I would with an automatic. I feel like I'm part of the road. That's the part of the whole experience. You want to be able to feel connected. You want to get involved. Just driving a two pedal car around, you're just stepping on the gas, you're just steering around. All you're just doing is playing a video game. But this, it's very real. The consequences are very real if you mess up. Um, they're very expensive if you mess up. It's also that, I mentioned you get control, so I got to choose what gear I stay in, so I had to wind it out as I please. I'm in charge, not the car. Hey, driving, to us, cars are not not just appliances. Cars are a way of life, okay? It's a little treat for us. We get time to think for ourselves. Any problem you have, just go on a drive. You get to forget about your problems. So maybe you didn't do too well on that test. Or maybe you got rejected today. Say, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who cares? You're going on a drive and you get to enjoy yourself. Forget about all your problems. Alright, so I bought this car about. August of last year, I put about 23,000 miles since I got it brand new. Um, since then, I've installed right here a Cobb access port that turns the engine and allows me to add more air and fuel, therefore making me more power. Um, also, I've done this knob. I mean, it's just an ergonomics thing. It just makes driving the car more comfortable. But also, I did add an exhaust to get more flow. And you know, as an enthusiast, we do enjoy listening to our cars. It's not just some. Um, it's not just some loud rice box you hear on the street. <laughs> that was awful. Hey, um, why did I buy my car? Um, I wanted something practical, four-wheel drive, with a bit of power. I mean, I'm kind of fortunate. I have a larger budget, so I figured, why not get a brand new car? Because with sports cars, you take a big risk if you buy something used because you end up, you know, let's say a Subaru. Subarus hold their values very well, so. You might as well just go buy a new one because the difference is probably around two, three thousand dollars. And um, for the price I paid for this, I could have gotten a much faster car. Let's say a Mustang, Camaro, 
Chevy SS. But no, I wanted something more practical. So I can drive this thing in the winter. I can go through snow. People get stuck in the snow. I don't. I get to go on dirt roads. I get to go on sand. I don't get stuck. And this, this car does everything well. So that's why I got it. It's good all around. If I just focus purely on power, I, have, I would not have bought this car. Aside from driving a car, working on your own car is very fun as well. You have to learn to work with tools, and by doing so, you get to do much more than just working on cars. Let's say you'll be more handy around the house, or you know, you know your way around a difficult situation if it presents itself. <clears throat> working on a car is satisfying because cars are simple. Cars break, and if something breaks, you just replace the part. It's that simple. There's no guesswork. It's just you plug in a scan tool or you diagnose the problem by just figuring it out from experience. <clears throat> so the results are very, would you say visceral? Jabbar, would you say huh? visceral? The results are visceral or no? Nah. They're more like, how do you say this? They're more um, tangible. The results of working on a car are more tangible, yes. Mm. Cut that part out. <laughs> All right, so one popular mod that I did to my car that Lots of Subaru owners have done to their car. That is. Those two horns, yes. I don't know why they are popular, but somehow they are. You can hear the horn, right? Ready? Yeah, it's pretty loud, isn't it? Yep. So, I'm going to teach you how to top off your oil. I don't have a funnel today. You want a funnel to keep it mess free. But I tend to not be messy. Let's find out. Alright, I think we should be good. Now, let that settle for a few minutes and then we're going to go back and check it. Alright, thanks man. Hello. You want, to wipe, you want to wipe it on a clean part of the rag, okay? So, a good reading. Put it back in, take it back out, take a look. All right, now we're halfway there. We're gonna add about two fifths of the quart again. Get it back up. You want to get it as close as you can to the top mark, but don't overfill it. Just making sure I'm completely topped off, all right? So, <laughs> As you can see, I wiped the dip stick already. The dip stick. Now we're gonna put it back in. Take it out. <laughs> and I'm pretty close to the full mark. You see that dot right there? Those two dots in between? Yes, you wanna be in between those two dots. And I am, and I'm pretty close to the top dot. So I'm good. I like to be on top of you. <laughs> Ignore that. All right. I did want something with a lot of power, but I couldn't because I don't have the money for two cars. And I need to do everything with my car. So, what are you guys doing? No, it's not. It's my fourth, actually. It's my fourth car. This is your fourth? Yes, it's my fourth car. How old are you? I'm 18. How the fuck do you buy four cars? Alright, so. <laughs> what? Are we in trouble? Are we in trouble? Yeah, we're probably in trouble. Let's go.